Well guys, welcome back at Ultimate MPS Shoes and here we are with an overclocking guide for the i5 10600K that really is going to work for every single CPU on the LGA 1200 series. However, if you have an i7, I do have a different video. If you have an i9, I do have a different video which are more specific. Either way, even if you have an i3, this is going to work for you. Little disclaimer, okay? So for this guide, you need an unlocked motherboard, unlocked CPU, and a very good cooler. Now, if you don't have any of those, don't close the video because I actually have a video for you. And it's the undervolting tutorial for a 10600K. Now, it is an unusual undervolt. So I explain how I undervolt to get more performance by playing around the power limits. So if you have a locked CPU or a locked motherboard or not the best cooler, like here we're running a 360 millimeters Valkyrie Jarn cooler. I have the review on the channel, which is great. Like the CPU is at 60 degrees at stock under Prime 95. If you don't have a single one of those things, watch the undervolting instead. Maybe watch this if you're curious, but it's going to be useless for you. But in case you're prepared, let's go into BIOS and let's start tuning. So you will get more FPS, a lot more FPS. You will get less stuttering. The game will be much more fluid because the CPU won't ramp up and down anymore. It will stay flat at the maximum frequency, which is better. And you will also get a bit of flex in power for your friends because you can see that your CPU is running at like 5.2 gigahertz depending on how high you want to set it. So let's go ahead. Let's go into BIOS. I'm running a Z490 ROG Strix motherboard, but this is going to work for every single motherboard out there. Also, if you watch the video until the end, maybe drop a like and subscribe to support the channel, okay? I'm a small channel, kind of need it, but let's go. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS. Now, first step is going to be, you want to go into the AI tweaker section of your BIOS. Now, this is going to be called something along the lines of overclocking, tweaking, something tuning something like that okay you can find it in your bias no problem before we start this is not related to the actual overclocking itself but make sure you have your xmp on the ram enabled and uh, test it out before you do the overclock okay also resizable bar get the latest bios and turn it on because it's free fps okay trust me so with that said first step in our overclocking is going to be the removal of any annoying limit in the motherboard. So step one, if you have an ASUS motherboard, you want to find the ASUS multi-core enhancement and put it on enabled to remove all limits. However, this is not going to be enough. So we have to go all the way down and unlock the power limit and current limit manually. In the ASUS BIOS, they are in sub menus, but in normal BIOSes, they are just out here. So we want to go on DG plus VRM and on CPU current capability, put 170%. We then want to go into internal CPU power management and you have four options which are really the same for every single motherboard and you want to just put all nines to unlock them all to the maximum the time duration as well. Just max it out and max everything out. These four you want to have maxed out. At this point we go back and we can actually start with our overclocking. But first step is going to be the load line calibration. So again, every motherboard has this, but the location is going to be a bit different, but it's going to be called load line calibration. So find it and you want to put it to the middle. Okay, right here. Now, this is the first thing where we can play around a bit. So if you want to just copy my settings, just put it in the middle. So no matter how many levels you have, just put it in the middle one. So if you have three levels, put level two. If you have seven, Put level four right there. What is this? This is the filter of our current. Uh, it's a bit tricky, but basically the more aggressive this one is set, the hotter your VRMs are going to run. And uh, a VRM that runs very high in temperature generally is a problem. But also the higher this is, uh, the more stable your CPU is going to be. So if you have a very, very, very good motherboard, you can go with a more aggressive setting like me with a Strix. I could go level three. I could go level two. I definitely would not want to go level one because it's too much heat. I would need like a direct fan placed over the VRMs. It's just bad practice, okay? This is more advanced, but uh, for most people, level four in the middle, is going to be plenty fine. Next step, what we are playing around with is going to be CPU frequency, CPU voltage, and CPU cache. So you want to find the core ratio and uh, sync all the cores so we can just set it once. And now, at stock, the CPU runs at 4.1 GHz with a boost of up to 4.8. The entry level overclock for you guys is going to be 50, so 5 GHz because less, it's not really an overclock. You may as well look at my undervolting tutorial. If you want 4.8, you can achieve that 
without uh, increasing the voltage. 5 gigahertz though on an i5 is a bit tricky unless you are running an AVX offset. Now what an AVX offset is, is basically your CPU runs, runs at 5 gigahertz on easier tasks and at 4.9 on uh, heavier tasks. So we want to put a negative offset and we want to put 1 as our offset right there. Okay, little disclaimer, if your CPU is not the best, like for example, mine in this video is not the best, you may want to put two. Or you may just want to keep one, but go with 49 here. So if you want to follow this tutorial and be like super safe that everything is going to work, put 49. Okay, trust me. Again, if you feel like testing a bit, put 50. I will show you with 49 just because it's easier. 49 with one offset that means that your cpu instead of going up and down all the way in the worst case scenario under avx is going to be at uh, 4.8 gigahertz which is a 700 megahertz increase which is a 20 percent overclock and in the best case scenario is going to be like still a, a bit more than 20 percent overclock pretty much at this point we just want to set the cache and now the cache is going to be your cpu frequency minus three so the maximum is going to be 49 minus 346 and the minimum is going to be uh, 48 minus 3, which is going to be 45, right there. Now, at this point, we just want to set our core cache voltage. So, again, you want to find something that's called core voltage, which may also be called V-core, depending on your motherboard. And you want to set it to manual, and then you want to override it to 1.35. So this is the sweet spot, really, for most CPUs at 4.9 with one offset. But if you're very unlucky, again, Overclocking is not undervolting, so you need to test your stuff properly. So after you've done this, just uh, run a stress test. I recommend Prime 95, and if it crashes, increase the voltage. How high can you go? You can go all the way up to 1.45, but I wouldn't go this high. I would say a nice safe maximum is going to be 1.425. But again, if you know what you're doing, if you have your CPU cooled down efficiently, 1.45 is nice. The problem is when you have too much voltage and too much temperature. So I say settle down with 1.425 is going to be generally fine. As a maximum, so for example, if we want 4.9, start with 1.35, and if it's unstable, go to 1.375. And this is going to be enough for any CPU. So if you want to be extra, extra safe, just go. 1.375 here, okay? 45 minimum cache, 46 mass maximum cache, and then you want to go 49 with one AVX offset. Now, if we want 50, I will just show you quickly, with one offset, okay, you, you're probably going to need 1.4 for most CPUs, okay? And if you want to ask how much for 5.2, which is what a lot of people want, okay, so 5.2, you generally want 1.45 for it on most CPUs. Okay? And this is really it. You kind of understood how this little game works. Then you just need a lot of testing and you're going to be plenty fine, okay? So if you like the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.